Hello programming students. In this video we're going to learn how to create your CertiPort account so that you can take your exam when it comes time to taking your certification exam. So again, some of you may already have a CertiPort account because you've taken other certification classes in the past. So you will need to make sure that you uh, can find or retrieve your login information uh, for that account. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's get started. Uh, go ahead and start a new uh, browser tab. And the website for CertiPort is just simply CertiPort. Dot com. So C E R T I P O R T dot com. And when you go ahead and click there, um, again, you'll have a button on the right hand side that says Login Register. If you click that button and you're already a current user, you can log in. If you cannot access your account, if you don't remember your password or your username, then go ahead and click this link here and try to get that information so that you have it when you get ready to take your certification exam. Go ahead and store that information in a safe place so that you can retrieve it easily if needed. <coughs> Excuse me. Most of you, however, are going to be brand new users. Um, that's why you're watching the video. So over here on the right hand side, you'll simply click the register button under new users. The first screen, as you see, there's several screens that you need to go through. The first screen, you just make some decisions about your language, country, and so on. So let's go ahead and pick United States. And there's a candidate agreement here that you need to read. Make sure you understand. And then, very important, click this box that you agree. And then they want to make sure that you're a human. So enter the CAPTCHA letters and numbers that you see there. And then click the next button. And then this information, you want to fill out all of this information. I'm going to put some fictitious information in here. <coughs> Excuse me again. Now you can decide if you want your last name displayed first on your certificates or if you want your first name then last name. Then choose your birth date. And then go ahead and pick a username and password that you want to use. Uh, looks like that username has already been taken. And make sure your password is something that you're going to be able to remember because you will need that. And again, like it says here, keep your credentials in a safe place. You'll need to be able to use this information every time you take a certification exam. Pick a couple security questions. Then once you're satisfied with all the information on that screen, click Next. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, very important, for your email address, do not use your school email. Again, do not use your school email for this email address. The reason you want to do that is so that you'll be able to access this account well after you graduate, because some of you may want to uh, certify in other uh, areas even after graduation so this way you don't have to create a brand new cert report account and you have access to all your records so type in an email address that you know you're going to check every day and then phone number is uh, optional so you can add the phone number if you want to. However, the student the ID number for all CMS students and most students in the state of North Carolina, go ahead and add your student ID number. That's your PowerSchool number. Whatever it is in PowerSchool, go ahead and add that here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And then uh, if you want to allow CertiPort to contact you via email regarding new programs, promotion offers, and alerts, you can check that box if you wish. And then this information right here is where would you like CertiPort to um, mail your certificate? So this would be your home address. And then if you want an alternate address, you can do that as well down here at the bottom. All right, once you're satisfied with all that information, click Next. Then this is just a couple uh, questions. Yes, no, gender. Uh, are currently enrolled as a student, part-time, full-time. Uh, go ahead and check Yes for that one. And then it's going to ask you a couple of follow-up questions. How many years you've been in school? So that is normally um, what grade have you completed? Are you affiliated with any national student organizations? <coughs> so this will be like uh, National Honor Society, FBLA, um, DECA, FFA, uh, all the things like that uh, that you might be affiliated with. Um, any national organization not a local club or anything like that, but a national organization. Are you currently employed? Do you have a job, part-time, full-time? Again, that's up to you. And if you're yes, then you have to make sure you're not employed at any of these following things. Um, so you can kind of see all the options there. So we're going to go ahead and leave that on no. And um, it's going to ask you uh, just put unemployed and then whatever gender you are. And again, once you're satisfied with that information, hit submit. And then it's going to say, uh, welcome to CERT report. And then what would you like to do next? Do you want to take an exam, prepare for an exam? Do you want to register and become a proctor? Uh, you can take an exam, prepare for an exam. And then click next. And then on this screen right here, you want to register for each type of certification exam you think you might be taking this school year. Now you can always come back and register for more later just by logging into your CertiPort account. So you click register for Microsoft. Keep all that information. And again, make some decisions down here. Uh, you don't have to do anything on the right hand side. Just click use my cert report data. The only information on the right hand side is if something changed. And then decide if you want Microsoft to be able to contact you. Hit submit. And when it finishes, it will say you are registered. And then you can always come back here and edit that registration data. So you will do that for all of these exams. And then down at the bottom, click Next. And when you get to this screen, you are finished. <coughs> and to log back into CertiPort, you just simply come back to the CertiPort page, enter your username and password, click Log In. And you're there and you should only have a role of test candidate and then all of your exams will show up in this section after you've completed an exam whether you've passed or failed the exam they will show up there for your record for your benefit all right hope everybody is able to get your CertiPort account created uh, let me know if you have any questions thank you